Hello everybody. Kakonga the coach and the pioneer of Vision Total Football Kenya. Habari zenu wa Kenya wenzangu. Leo ninataka kusema hivi. Mtu yoyote yule ambaye atachaguliwa kuwa the next FKF president. He or she must commit organization suicide. What do I mean? Anyone who is going to be elected as the next FKF president must and must commit organization suicide. That is equivalent to a class uh, to a class suicide when it comes to people who want to portray themselves as hustlers when we know they are rich the only way they can do that is committing um, uh, class suicide you can ask miguna that and he'll explain to you better about uh, class suicide but in this case i want to say this um, F, the next fkf president must commit uh, organization suicide. That means he must declare FKF. Yeah, he must declare that FKF is finished. FKF is dead. And the way to do that, there is a legal way to do that, which is called a company dissolution. Yeah, that means that any company or any organization that has been created out there, it can actually commit suicide or it can kill itself. And that is legal, yeah? And it, it is called a uh, dissolution. There is a statement of dissolution that tells organizations how to commit suicide, how to kill themselves so that the company does not exist anymore. Because it doesn't matter who will become the president. I know right now uh, the former Vihiga governor, Akaranga, is interested. I know that uh, uh, Amukoa, the former Western branch uh, chairman, is also interested. But the point is this, FKF cannot continue and cannot function yeah, as, as, as a federation in Kenya yeah, in the manner that it is today, in the manner that it is structured today. And it, it shows you that people, my issues here, my conversation here is resonating with the people of Kenya. Because, uh, for example, like now, my current uh, Facebook video, yeah, the viewers, 12,000 people. These people cannot be viewing something that is nonsense. People know very well what I'm talking about. People are understanding very well what I'm talking about. And um, people, I can tell you, we, in that number, 12,000 people, only two people have come out and said something about FKF, that FKF is trying. Uh, it shouldn't be it should not be about trying because uh, what uh, especially one of the person has commented is that this FKF regime of Nick Mwendo is doing a bit better in comparison to the regime that was there before, the regime of Nick uh, of uh, Sam Nyamwea. But that is not the point about doing better than who trying this. The time for trying has finished. The time for trying must end. Uh, Kenyan football is not about experimenting. We must hit on the road running. We must do what is correct so that we can stop this idea of experimenting in Kenyan football, stagnation, doing nothing. Our football has been in the wilderness for over 50 years now. We need to do what is correct. Experimentation must end when it comes to Kenyan football. And that will be finished by Vision Total Football Kenya. Therefore, like I have said, any president that will become uh, the next FKF president must commit organization suicide so that he or she can join Vision Total Football Kenya. I will say again, and I'm categorical, Vision Total Football Kenya is the only way forward. And it is not about individuals. It is not about me. I have said time again and again that I really don't want to be the next FKF president. This is not about me wanting to be the president. This is not about me wanting to be the leader of Kenyan football. Anyone can can uh, anyone, yeah, can become uh, the leader of the Kenyan football. Whether it's Sam Nyamwea, whether it's Nick Mwendwa, whether it's uh, Akaranga, Governor Akaranga, who are here is interested to vie for the president's seat. Whether it's uh, Amukoa. Uh, the former Western branch chairman, it does not really matter. What we need to sort, like I keep saying, it is the system so that the organization can become a better organization. At the moment, FKF is not respected globally, and I'm not going to lie this. I have had a lot of uh, people 
uh, from Europe sent a message to me saying that what I'm saying is good. If Kenyan football was reformed, they would actually invest in Kenya. These are people in Europe sending message to me saying that what you are saying is correct. If football in Kenya was reformed, it would become a better football system and we would be willing to invest in Kenyan football. I have had um, uh, a message from a former Harambe Stars coach who lives in Europe telling me inside FKF is full of personal interest. It is full of people who do not care about Kenyan football. That is not even a Kenyan, my dear friends. That is a person who has been right there in the middle of FKF uh, leadership. Yeah, and he's telling me the truth because he knows I'm talking the truth. He, my, my, uh, my ideas here resonate with him. That's why he can come out and tell me the truth. Therefore, Kenya Wezangu, this is not about me. This is not a cry for a personal interest. This is the truth of the Kenyan football. I have said before, I have followed Kenya football for far too long. I know what is good, I know what is wrong. So, the way forward, like I keep saying, it is to kill FKF and the best way for that is whoever will become the president of, KF, of FKF to commit organization suicide. This must become a slogan in Kenya, organization suicide. That is what FKF must do and this is categorical. Going forward the name FKF will not help Kenya. That name is dirty. That name is that yet. Yeah, that name is stinking. The name FKF. It scares a lot of investors. It is scaring a lot of international coaches who are Kenya Wezango. Therefore, anyone, please, in FKF, I'm not saying you should go home and start farming. If you love football, you will have a role to play in the Kenyan football, but in a better football system. That will not happen unless FKF is killed. My fellow Kenyans, support Vision Total Football Kenya and understand that there is a lot in Vision Total Football Kenya. Yeah, Vision Total Football Kenya, it is a massive, a massive program to reform, to restructure, to resuscitate, to save Kenyan football so that Kenya can have uh, football that it deserves. Kenya can have football that will benefit coaches, scouts, um, players and, the, and our economy the women, the youth. It is, it is a holistic approach. The program will actually fix every part of Kenyan football. That is what Vision Total Football Kenya is about. Vision Total Football Kenya, it is a vehicle, yeah? It is a vehicle that is carrying the change for the Kenyan football. So Vision Total Football Kenya is not and it is not a football federation. It is a vehicle for change. That Kenyan football evolution requires a vehicle. And that is Vision Total Football Kenya. My fellow Kenyans, I want, to, I want to thank you for supporting Vision Total Football Kenya, for listening to me, and for sharing your ideas of, vision, of uh, Kenyan football uh, with me. I know sometimes I, um, I don't get time to thank you enough. To all my supporters, I, I hate to call you viewers and followers. You are supporters of Vision Total Football Kenya. So to all of you, I say thank you and continue sharing, continue, uh, continue supporting supporting the vision and together we shall save we shall save football in Kenya saving football Kenyan football is not a one man affair that is why all of us are required all of us all of us must take part yeah please join vision total football Kenya let us continue to grow vision total football Kenya community it is a Kenyan community that will save football in Kenya like I said before, investors are there. Investors are waiting to see what is going to happen in our Kenyan football. Let us sort it so that everyone can benefit. And I promise you, investors will come. Once again, I'm Gakonga, the coach and the pioneer of Vision Total Football Kenya. I live in peace. I'm gone.